Hi everyone, this is JJ Gat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Christmas edition to the Christmas tree. Anyway, so today is for today's social media Friday, which I'm recording on a Saturday and hopefully we'll actually edit and post on a Saturday, but most likely will be posted on a Sunday. So today we're talking about ways to promote yourself, your channel, your brand, your business, your podcast, your whatever it is that you have that you're trying to promote and get audiences and customers for online and using social media. So what happened is when you're new and when you're just starting out, you usually just have a small audience of your friends, your family members, and a few people who may know that you're starting out. Um, over time though, you will indeed get fans, you will indeed get followers, and you will indeed get customers. And so your social media presence and your um, customer base, audience base is gonna grow exponentially over time. However, until then, if you ever want to partner up with various different brands or other companies and you wanna show that you in do indeed have a presence online, there are certain things and certain ways you can quantify your presence and your reach to a large market and there's various different tools that you can use that help you quantify that. When I say quantify, I mean um, numbers because a lot of times you have these big brands. You have like, you know, Selena Gomez, Beyonce level of 10 million, 20 million, you know, 110 million Kim Kardashian level of followers on Instagram. And then you have, you know, as you go down the line, there's various different levels of popularity. The majority of people, even folks who are just starting out who have businesses, have anywhere between 1,000 and maybe 5,000 followers um, for their businesses. They don't really have, you know, once you get 10,000, that's a pretty critical mass. That's like a, a benchmark number. But if you're at 1,000 to 5,000, you need to show that you have some sort of, and some level of, clout or some level of reach beyond just those 1,000 to 5,000 people. And so I'm going to tell you about four tools and four ways you can use to quantify your reach um, beyond the minimum number of your followers. So the first brand is called Fruji. This really just applies to Twitter. So for those of you who aren't on Twitter, don't have a Twitter presence, you can skip ahead to the next three. But I recommend if you have an opportunity to explore different social media platforms that you consider Twitter. So what Fruji does is allows people who have a smaller following. So you may have like 100, 200, 300, 5,000, 6,000 followers on Twitter. But one of those followers may be Barack Obama. One of them may be Capital One Bank. Or another, maybe another one may be E! Entertainment News or Bravo TV. All of those folks follow my account. So even though my social media presence on Twitter is about a total of probably between 10 to 15,000, maybe 20,000, not really that big. The fact that I have these major brands and major celebrities um, following me, which means I have access to them because if they're following me, that means something that I may tweet, they catch their eye and they have the ability to respond to me, reply, or to retweet me. If they were to reply or retweet, that would mean all of their millions of followers will then I will have next now will have access and ability to be seen by them and retweeted by those folks, which means my reach is beyond my fifteen thousand followers. My reach is now inclusive of the people that follow me who have larger massive following. And so um, yeah, so that's that's essentially how Fuji calculates um, reach. Um, also this is something separate from Fuji, but if those people follow you, you have what's called DM authority. So for example, Staples follow me, I believe they still do, and I needed to reach Staples for some personal reason. And um, I can just tweet at them and maybe get their brand, but if, I, if they're following me, that means I can DM them. And so I have a more direct access and connection to Staples. So whoever's monitoring their social media is most likely going to see my DM, and so I'm going to be able to catch the presence from the attention of staples through a DM versus just adding them and suggesting them and hoping that they respond. So that's the benefit of having a big brand follow you. But anyway, back to Fuji. So what Fuji does is then you type in your URL and what happens is it spits out the num your reach based on the influential people to follow you and who have larger follows, popular people, um, people with large um, reach and it calculates them and then it says this is your grand reach. So when you are pitching yourself um, to a partner or to a, a brand or sponsor for your podcast or whatever and you want to say this is our reach, um, instead of saying well, we have a small podcast, we have like 800 subscribers, 
someone's gonna be like, eh, 800, that's it, that's not that big. But if you can say that our the Twitter account for our podcast has a reach of 2 million, that have them turn in their head and say, well, you have a reach of 2 million. And you can legitimately say you have a reach of 2 million if you can pull out the Fruji number and say, here, reach of 2 million, bing. And so there you go, so that's how you um, quantify your reach beyond the number of Twitter followers you have using Fuji. Another thing, just other little quick little things that Fuji does, it also tells you which people who are following are marketers, which means that most likely they're manned PR accounts and then they just really use a machine to grow and the machine to auto post. There's not really a real person behind there. So you know the extent of which, how robust and engaged your followers are. So if you have a lot of marketer followers, that means that most likely or not that you, they aren't gonna respond or engage back. So you don't wanna, count them too much or you personally as you're, as you're reaching out if you have too many marketing followers you know that your reach isn't necessarily um organic or going to get customers you're not going to get customers from them because they're just people playing the game they're not really there to to be marketed to or to become your customers they're just they just use you because you're one of your number to them um so that's what's good to you so if you know the the equation or level of people that are just marketers that kind of give you a sense of who your true um followers are and what you can do and you know who you need to respond to or react to that's, that's, that's the first one's for G. So I like it. Um, I haven't, you know, used, that's really just something you use to put in your media kit. Fuji.